So I see the forecast ahead based on what you said. I'm like, oh, it's not going to be good for the. <laughs> it's not going to be good for allergies. It I'm, doesn't seem. Allergies Carol? don't get to me. And I'm like one of the lucky people in the world. They just so don't get lucky. to me. Yeah. I mine. I just have <laughs> allergy induced asthma. That's when it, oh. that's when oh. it bothers me. And so it's usually in the fall, mm -hmm. but like hopefully, hopefully not so much. I'm just kind of in denial I'm all of some of them. <laughs> On Easter Sunday, it's so nice to have all the flowers out there. I know. <laughs> I can smell them for the first half of the service. Same thing with And I then love. you die afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> then I go on a hayride and I'm just like, this die. is great. I just can't breathe by the I end. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so uh. yes, heads up for everyone. There are at least a few things working in our favor this weekend to bring those pollen counts back down closer to those moderate categories. It will start to go up though, especially as we start up the week. We'll be kicking in that breeze and drying things out. So, hey, allergy sufferers, we're right there with you. We'll be staying in more of that moderate category for today and tomorrow. Thanks to a few showers that'll be showing up on the radar. Now, live Viper radar, not a whole lot of activity going on just yet, but you'll notice as you look up to that northwest corner of the state, this is where we're starting to see a few showers fill in toward Lima. And this big band of rainfall that it's all associated with, it's actually all linked to a cold front. And like you can guess from the name, it is going to contribute to temperatures being not quite as warm as they were yesterday. I do also want to draw your attention to what's happening out now with the Window Nation Tower camera. We just have this beautiful sunrise happening right across the skyline. So anyone getting up this morning, you're going to be greeted by those beautiful colors. Now we did have that bright red color as the sunrise started, which you might be familiar with that saying of red sky in the morning. Take warning and the big warning that we're giving you is that there's going to be a change in pressure, all thanks to that rainfall that's heading our way that's linked to a cold front. Temperatures outside now, a little bit on the chilly side. We're actually right in line with normal for this time of the year, waking up to those low to mid 50s. We have a light southerly breeze ahead of the front, and that wind will gradually become more westerly after the front passes through. So if you do have those outdoor plans, especially if you'll be working out in the garden, again, allergy pill is going to be your friend. Maybe grab those tissues if you're like Hattie and me and suffer from the pollen. But the thing that's helping us out is that well, you won't be able to be doing much outside throughout the afternoon, especially if it's linked to gardening, but it does look like those showers move out by this afternoon and evening. So that should be just in time, not only for the Buckeye game, but we also have that 730 start to the crew match later on today. So it will be a cool evening ahead with those showers clearing out by about five to six o'clock. So we should be nice and dry by then, but a little bit on the chilly side as we fall from the mid 60s back down to those mid to upper 50s by the end of the game. Pinpoint forecast showing. Well, that front really loses momentum by the time it gets to central Ohio. It's going to be crossing the 71 corridor by noon. So by about 9 a.m. to noon, those of us north and west of Columbus will be seeing a few spotty showers. Notice as the front slides through between about 3 to 6 p.m. It's down to the southeast corner of the state that we'll see just a few isolated sprinkles. Otherwise, the cold front kind of living up to that cold part of the name. Now, temperature wise today, we're just going to be reaching those mid to upper 60s. So we'll be seeing the warmer temperatures for a change up to that northwest corner of the state since the front will already be through by tomorrow. Here's where we start to bring back in the sunshine and near perfect temperatures. I'd say for fall as we top off in those mid 70s to right around 80 degrees. Look